you know what? I've always wanted to put some little micro lights in this bus because the detail is very good. A lot of passengers and stuff in there. So I'm going to chuck one light in the centre roof, bring it through the floor. So I'm going to take it apart, see if we can get it apart now. Yeah, pretty straightforward. The, the rear pan of the bus comes off the rear body bottom section, wheels, and then just pop out the main plastic inner body. So with a bit of careful uh, manipulation, the body shell comes off from the main bus chassis part. And it is really precisely fit, fitted. And you've got to be careful. You've got the doors in there. It does go on very carefully. So now I can get, I can drill a hole in this top section here and bring a wire through the middle of the roof or even put two lights in so that's what I'll be doing next yeah so I've got it all apart ready to I've just repair this light bulb because it one of the wires came off in the past I've just thrown them away because of that tiny but I've attempted to repair it using the second magnifier on on this magnifying stand and it I managed to do it now oh, that's repaired I can drill a hole in the top section of this here and then just run the light bulb up on in the centre of the roof. I'm just gonna put it in the centre of the roof, should give enough, enough light flow out. Just being a nice added feature to light this bus up with all the people on board, the driver and all the rest of it. So yeah, I would have liked to have put two lights in but I've, I've only got one of these left so I can always put another one in later. So for drilling through, I'm going to use my Citadel drill, which comes with uh, drill bits. So you can get similar drivers and drills, but this is one I like using this. It's got a nice swivel um, base, so you can turn it nicely. So I'm going to drill the hole through there now. We go hole there for the LED to go through, wires etc. And I can install that now. Another tool which I really highly recommend is the Citadel uh, Precision uh, Cutters. You know, for taking the sprues off plastic etc. They're absolutely brilliant. It's a tool which I thought at the time I thought oh, I don't really need that. But I'll buy it anyway. And I bought that with it, and I'm so glad I bought them because they're just brilliant. And then obviously they've got beautiful little boxes where you can store them away afterwards. I've just got these types of boxes for storing uh, various small bits and bobs. Try to keep everything as uh, as tidy as possible. Okay, got to work on this now. Yeah, so. I've held it in place with a bit of a bathroom tape, which I normally use for fixing wires in place there. That's all I need. It's a very lightweight bulb. It's ready to be um, put back together now and connected up to lengthen these wires, connect it onto the lighting system on the railway. Just maybe add a few more people on the coach actually standing up. Now on this model you've got to be really careful with the plastic castings because they really fit together in a very, very tight, precise way. On the bus chassis when it goes into the body, it clips in in a certain way. It's very, very precise. So I've just got to tweak this around a bit more, but bulbs in now. So I'll just drill the hole just underneath the engine these micro wires to come out so I can you know, carefully put the floor panning on the bus clips on and there's about five clips we've got to be careful not to break those clips there in the center of the screen are very very um, precisely uh, fitted you can't overstress them just extending the wires now and joining them along put added a resistor on put some heat shrink on to heat the, to, sh to shrink the heat shrink I just placed the uh, the tip, or the, where it joins, where the tip joins the chassis, I just go along like that, as close as possible, and it, sh it shrinks up the um, shrink tube. 
no need to use a heat gun yeah, so the bus is ready to go back it's all wired up need to get some a couple more lights in there in the future but i'm just putting one in for now just to light it up got a couple more details that kids trolley's got to go in on the doorway so I'll drill the hole ready for the wires and i'm going to bring it through and connect it up but another modification i'm going to do is take out yeah, I just need to take out all those horrible blocks. I hate those block things. Got to take all those out and replace them with replacing them with these. You've got 24 connectors on a block, so you've just got your negative in and positive in, and then it just feeds all the rest. It just makes it a lot easier to wire up lighting, etc., with these. And I've got them from this company in Germany. Uh, Herbie Fix and he does a lot of electronic special items that are custom made by his shop I think by the looks of it it's fantastic some really good items on there I mean I paid 30, 37 euro for um, 10 of them got 10 of those blocks without the LEDs you can get them with the LEDs or without and David Howarth put me onto these and it's, honestly it's really good I've fitted one already and they're brilliant simple thing like that can save so much hassle 